Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn to avoid some important mistakes, so let's get started. First, this is not correct. And then the waiter or the waitress is going to tell you what they are、uh, offering today. I cannot say, and then the waiter or the waitress is going to tell you what they are offering today. If I say gonna, I need a verb. I have to use the verb is because it's one person. It's the waiter or the waitress. It's not both of them. It's not a plural. It's singular. So I need the verb is. So it's correct to say, and then the waiter or the waitress is going to tell you what they are offering today. When I talk about the waiter, I use the verb is. The waiter is going to tell you what they are offering today. I use they to talk about the restaurant. When I talk about a business, an organization, Or any company, I use they. So, talking about the restaurant, they are going to offer something. So, the waiter is going to tell you what they are offering today. Let's practice. Is the waiter going to tell you what they are offering today? That's right. The waiter is going to tell you what they are offering today. Or it could be a waitress. Is the waitress going to tell you what they are offering today? That's right, the waitress is going to tell you what they are offering today. Remember, when you say gonna, you need the verb am, is, or are. And keep watching until the end of this video to practice with how to use gonna correctly. And there are two pronunciations, so keep watching to practice more. This is also not correct. But of course, that the waitress can ask you in other ways. There are variations for that. I cannot say, but of course, that the waitress can ask you in other ways. This is not correct. I cannot use that. I have to eliminate that. It's correct to say, but of course, the waitress can ask you in other ways. We cannot use that in this sentence. So let's practice. Can the waitress ask you in other ways? Of course, the waitress can ask you in other ways. Don't use that. This is also not correct. Menu is a list of food that the restaurant serves that you can choose. I cannot say menu is a list of food that the restaurant serves. Because menu is a countable noun, I have to use the article a, a menu, in general. A menu is a list of food that the restaurant offers. I have to say a menu, not just menu. So a menu is a list of food that the restaurant offers. Let's practice. What is a menu? That's right, a menu is a list of food that the restaurant offers. This is also not correct. So, I highly recommend you to use I'd like or I'll have when you're going to ask for food. It's not correct to say I highly recommend you to use I'd like or I'll have. When I use the verb recommend, I have to use a different structure. It's correct to say I recommend or I highly recommend that you use I'd like or I'll have. When you order something at a restaurant, those are the best options. I'd like a salad, or I'll have a salad. That's the best way to order. So it's correct to say, I highly recommend that you use I'd like or I'll have when ordering at a restaurant. Example His doctor recommended that he exercise. I cannot say his doctor recommended him to exercise. I have to use a different structure with recommend. His doctor recommended that he exercise. Notice that I don't say he exercises. It's not a routine. It's a different structure. There's no S. His doctor recommended that he exercise every day. Let's practice. Did his doctor recommend that he exercise every day? That's right. His doctor recommended that he exercise every day. This is also not correct. Now, something extremely important. Depending on the country you go or the region that you visit, I cannot say depending on the country you go or the region you visit. With the verb visit, there's no problem. But with the verb go, there is a problem. I have to use the preposition to. Depending on the country you go to, I have to say to. After go. Depending on the country you go to or the region you visit. This is correct. Example 
You will find different food depending on the country you go to or the region you visit. Let's practice. Will you find different food depending on the country you go to or the region you visit? That's right. You will find different food depending on the country you go to or the region you visit. Now let's talk about pronunciation. This is not correct. Let's move on to the third sentence. And this one is used by the waitress. I cannot say this one is used by the waitress. And I'm not sure if she's saying used and mispronouncing used or if she's saying use it. Either way, it's not correct. We have to say this one is used. Pronunciation. We have to say used. This one is used by the waitress. Not use it. Used. Example. The phrase, what can I get you? This phrase is used by the waitress when they take your order. They say, what can I get you today? This phrase is used by the waitress. So, talking about the phrase, what can I get you? Is this phrase used by the waitress? That's right. This phrase is used by the waitress. Not use it. This is also not correct. Ordering beverage. To order drinks or beverage at the restaurant, you can consider using two expressions. I cannot pronounce the word beverage. Drinks and beverage. I have to separate the sound and say beverages. Beverages. Drinks and beverages. And to order drinks and beverages at the restaurant? In this case, we're not talking about a specific restaurant, so we don't say the. We say a. Uh. To order drinks and beverages at a restaurant. Pronunciation, at a, at a restaurant. Speaking in general, to order drinks and beverages at a restaurant, what do you say? You say, I'd like or I'll have. That's what you say to order drinks and beverages at a restaurant. Let's practice. What do you say to order drinks and beverages at a restaurant? That's right. To order drinks and beverages at a restaurant, you say, I'd like or I'll have. These are the best options. This is also not correct. I'd like a glass of orange juice, no ice, please. I cannot pronounce the words orange juice. Orange juice. This is not correct. First, we need to sound or. Or, like floor and more. Orin. Orin juice. Orange juice. We need another sound. Now, we don't say orange juice. We don't have two j sounds. So what do we do? Well, the first sound is a more relaxed sound. Zh, like when you say pleasure or measure. Vision. Zh. So orange juice. Then we transition to the hard j sound in juice. So we have two different sounds. Orange juice. Orange juice. Not orange juice and not orange juice, but orange juice. The first sound is softer, zh, and the next sound is harder, j, juice. Together, orange juice. Not orange, but orange, orange juice. So it's correct to say, I'd like a glass of orange juice. No ice, please. Remember, please, not please. Please, use the vibration sound, z, with the word please. Again, I'd like a glass of orange juice. No ice, please. This is also not correct. That you have uh, at that moment. I cannot say at the moment. At the moment. We cannot use a short ah sound like hot and stop and mom. We need the long o oh sound like no and go and phone. Mo. Moment. At the moment. Right now, at the moment, I'm making a video. What are you doing right now? At the moment. Very good. This is also not correct. But of course, you can also say, could you bring me the menu? Could you bring me the menu? If you want the waiter or the waitress to bring you the menu, that you can see it right in front of you and think about the food that you're going to order. I cannot pronounce the word menu. It's not menu, it's me, me, menu. It's a short, closed sound, eh, eh, like ten, 
and bed. Me, me, men. Menu. This is a menu, not a menu. Me, me, menu. Let's practice. What is this? Is this a menu? That's right. This is a menu. This is also not correct. I cannot pronounce the word ardor. It's not ardor. We don't make the R sound like far and car. We make the or sound like more and floor. Or. Order. Example. I'd like to order, please. Not I'd like to order. I'd like to order. Let's practice. Would you like to order? Very good. This is also not correct. As a response, the waitress is going to say something like, I'll be back in a few minutes. I cannot say as a response. As a response, the waitress is going to say something like, I'll be back in a few minutes. We cannot pronounce the word response. The stress is on the second syllable, not the first. So we have to say response. Response. Move the stress to the second syllable. So I can say as a response, the waitress is going to say something like, I'll be back in a few minutes. Let's practice. What is the waitress going to say as a response? That's right. As a response, the waitress is going to say something like, I'll be back in a few minutes. Remember, response. Not response, but response. Put the stress on the second syllable. This is also not correct. Now, when you order some water, you have to choose between two options, the steel and the sparkling water. I cannot say the steel and the sparkling water. The steel? She means still. The still and the sparkling water. Let's compare these three words. The first word is steel. We use the long E plus the dark L. Steel. E like green beans. Steel. Then transition to the dark L. Steel. It's illegal to steal. And the second word has the same pronunciation as the first. Steel. The long E like green beans plus the dark L. Steel. Steel is a kind of metal. Steel. I can say stainless steel is a kind of metal. And the last word is still. Still. Use the short I like this is. It's a more open sound. I, I, I. St, still. Plus the dark L. Still. So when I talk about water that doesn't have bubbles, it's not sparkling water, it's not soda, it's still. Still water. It's not moving. That's why we call it still water. So remember this word still and the pronunciation. We use it for different things. We can talk about something that's not moving and say still. When I take a picture of my children, I say sit still. Be still. The idea, don't move. That's why we say still water. Because there are no bubbles. It's not moving. It's still water. And I can use still for time. He lives at home with his mother, and he's 30 years old. Really? Still? He still lives at home with his mother, and he's 30 years old? That's too long. Same pronunciation. He still lives at home with his mother. Let's practice. When you take a picture of children, what do you say? Do you say, sit still? Do you say, be still? That's right. You say, sit still, be still. And he's 30 years old, and he lives at home with his mother. Let's practice. Does he still live at home with his mother? That's right. He still lives at home with his mother. Still. Not steal. That's different. So keep watching to practice with how we use gonna. It has two pronunciations. Today we're talking about contractions and reductions. And they are important to speak more naturally and to sound more like a native speaker. So, you can say, I'm going to. This is always correct, especially in written English. If you're writing, write, I'm going to. Plus action, I'm going to see a movie. But when you hear people talk in casual English, you hear, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see a movie. Remember, when you're using going to or gonna, always use your contraction. I am, I'm, you're, he's, she's. It's gonna, we're gonna, they're gonna. Very common mistake I hear is they gonna, they gonna. This is sound here, this er is very important. They're, they're gonna.
they're going to see a movie. Pronunciation. I'm gonna. For I'm, we have two pronunciations. I. Hmm. I'm. I'm gonna. But sometimes you hear, ah. Um. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Sometimes you hear, I'm gonna. Sometimes you hear, I'm gonna. I'm gonna is more common. I'm gonna. Gonna. G. A. Uh, g. Mm. Gun. A. Uh, gonna. I'm gonna. So you hear with am is the open sound. Ah, ah. Am. I'm gonna. And gonna, you have the closed sound. Uh, uh, uh. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let's practice. Are you gonna go to the park? Yes, I'm gonna go to the park. Are you gonna go to the park? Very good. What time are you gonna go to the park? I'm gonna go to the park at three. What time are you gonna go to the park? Very good. What are you gonna do at the park? I'm gonna go for a walk at the park. What are you gonna do at the park? Very good. Are you gonna call me? Yeah, I'm gonna call you. When are you gonna call me? I'm gonna call you tomorrow. Thank you. Are you gonna call me? When are you gonna call me? Very good. Are you gonna work all day today? Yep, I'm gonna work all day today. Are you gonna finish all your work? Yep, I'm gonna finish all my work today. Are you gonna work all day today? Are you gonna finish all your work? Very good. Are you gonna read a book today? Yeah, I'm gonna read a book today. Are you gonna read a book in English? Yep, I'm gonna read a book in English today. Are you gonna read a book today? Are you gonna read a book in English? Very good. Is he gonna work all day today? Yes, he's gonna work all day today. Is he gonna work all day today? Very good. Is he going to finish all his work? I think he's going to finish all his work. Is he going to finish all his work? Very good. Is she going to clean the office? Yes, she's going to clean the office. Is she going to clean the office? Very good. When is she going to clean the office? She's going to clean the office tomorrow. When is she going to clean the office? Very good. What are they going to do today? They're going to watch TV today. What are they going to do today? Very good. What are they going to watch on TV? They're going to watch a movie today. What are they going to watch on TV? Are they going to watch a movie? I'm not going to see anything, am I? No, they're all in bags. For his birthday, I'm going to tell him my secret. And I'm going to say to you what you said to us then. No way I'm going to make it on the outside. No, I'm not going to change my mind about this. Okay, I'm going to go now. Well, I'm going to call an ambulance now. You're going to be okay. I don't know what I'm going to say to her. Don't kill him. I'm not going to kill him. Let's talk about different pronunciations of these reductions. I'm gonna is very common. You hear it all the time. I'm going to get there a little late. But sometimes you'll hear amina, where the G is silent. I'm going to get there a little late. When you have a long idea, people talk fast. Sometimes they don't pronounce the g sound. So again, you hear I'm going to. I'm going to get there a little late. Listen for the pronunciation. Are you going to work all day today? Yeah, I'm going to work all day today. I'm going to work all day today. Listen for pronunciation. When are you going to call your dad? I'm going to call him tomorrow after breakfast. I'm going to call him tomorrow after breakfast. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to tell her that it's not a good time. I'm gonna go get my mom. I'm gonna say God. Accomplish? I'm gonna tell them the whole thing was your idea. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna tell them everything. What? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, tell your friend and watch it again.